Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. During the last two weeks, uh, because the uh, flu, well, uh, kind of, uh, I made no progresses with my beading metal lathe project. Uh, also, I've been stuck with the motorization of the spindle as I thought to use an older 210 volt brushless motor that, surprise, uh, have the uh, resolver missing and I was not able to find a cheap driver for it. So why I can't wait to uh, progress that project? In the meantime, I tried to give an answer to a question that some among you guys asked me. Uh, how to correctly use the oscilloscope uh, with the circuits, uh, with circuits that are not isolated from mines? This is not uh, metalworking, this is about uh, electronics, uh, um, but I hope you will find it interesting anyway. For sure, you will know that working with circuits that are connected directly to mains could be quite dangerous. So about the fact that touch oh. Oh. touching them could be quite dangerous because it could make you electrocuted. Connecting the probe of the oscilloscope to measure the circuit, in particular connecting the shield of the probe to the circuit, could lead to catastrophic situations. <laughs> okay, sorry for this Electroboom style intro, and so let's dive in into the schematics to understand why this happened and how it can be avoided. To have a better understanding of what I will go to discuss later, uh, let's have a look at uh, how the power lines are wired uh, from the source to the consumers. And so, for example, your home. Uh, simplifying, here we have the um, lines that come from the source of the electricity, say the power station uh, and so on, and, um, and uh, arrive here uh, at a local uh, substation uh, that have a transformer that reduces the medium voltage to low voltage uh, 230 volt. So we have three phases that uh, enter to a transformer that is uh, arranged, uh, usually arranged uh, a delta Y configuration where the center of the star is uh, grounded and here we the secondary of the transformer uh, have the center tap of the, of the uh, star that is grounded with a spike here to ground and uh, and here we have the three phases uh, that carries uh, that carry uh, the live to the consumers and uh, the rhythm path is provided by this wire that go back to the transformer uh, this and this wire is named neutral because it is uh, linked to ground here but uh, uh, at the consumer side uh, there is another spike that is ground spike that um, uh, provide a productive earth uh, for the consumer so we have here an, uh, a, a specific path to earth uh, at the consumer side and for the live and neutral enter into the uh, breaker, the main breaker and then to the uh, residual current device breaker that is mandatory um, because um, in leakage in this case uh, uh, could cause a variation in voltage in the neutral and the um, protective earth and um, and from here the live uh, goes to the outlet uh, as you can see here um, so we have the live the neutral and the protective earth that is uh, separated uh, from the neutral and uh, we have um, a relative low impedance path between these two different uh, uh, points of earthing and um, and each uh, consumer have its own spike uh, its own protective earth so uh, in the case of leakage uh, between the live to the protective earth uh, 
um, because this uh, uh, impedance is not uh, is not enough low, um, the protective earth might rise its voltage. Uh, there is an, uh, an earth rise, um, and therefore uh, the neutral may become very different uh, in voltage in respect to the uh, protective earth. And in any case, uh, even when there is no leakage, uh, the protective earth and neutral are never ever at the same voltage. Uh, it are, they are close, but they are never at the same at the same voltage. And this is, and that is important uh, for the uh, following discussion. And this is a system that is mainly used uh, in Europe, uh, and it is named TT. In a certain location uh, of Europe, uh, however, uh, there is another possible arrangement that, that is named TNC or TNCS, uh, but more um, likely TNC. Uh, the difference is uh, where this joint is located, uh, and um, in the in this case, uh, the neutral is linked to the protective earth, and uh, in this in this case, the neutral uh, is um, at the same voltage of the protective earth. And uh, in North America, uh, there are uh, sometimes this kind of arrangement or other kind of ar arrangements, and uh, um, in other places of the world, in other locations of the world, there are other earthing systems. What I'm discussing today uh, here is specific to Europe or this uh, earthing systems, uh, Europe or um, North America and not all North America because, uh, for example, uh, there, are, there is the single wire uh, system that have a different uh, behavior and so um, what I'm gonna to discuss later uh, it is not applicable in those cases this, that is important so what is important to remember is the neutral in Europe and where there is a TT system the neutral is never at the same po potential of PE and I can demonstrate this uh, by reading with the multimeter. Uh, this is uh, the same earth, zero volt. This uh, is the earth toward the live, 220 volts. Earth and uh, neutral. And we have, sorry, 2.6. Uh, well, doesn't touch. 2.6, 2.7 volt, 2.8, 2.9. It is um, uh, not stable. It is viable, but definitely not the same voltage. And here we have the voltage across live and neutral. We have 20, 221 volts. This is the back of the oscilloscope, and this is the uh, input of the power line, and. Uh, as we can see here, this is the protective earth, the ground, and here we have the two um, the two inputs of the line, the power lines. One of them uh, could be the live, and the other the neutral. But why here we have a polarized uh, plug? On the other side, we don't have any polarization. We can polarization. We can uh, put the the, the 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 plug in this way or in this other way, so we can reverse uh, uh, where the neutral and the live are entering. And the input of the uh, oscilloscope and this uh, and this. Uh, that is the ground are connected internally connected to the ground uh, that in turn goes to the protective earth 
So when we connect the probe to the oscilloscope, the shield, the shield that is connected here, is actually connected to the protective earth. So here we go. This is a possible arrangement uh, for uh, measuring a circuit that is directly connected to the mains. The circuit is connected uh, with uh, uh, live and neutral, not the uh, positive earth. And uh, the oscilloscope, of course, is connected through the power cord. And internally it has a transformer that will uh, power the internal circuits, uh, but the uh, protective earth uh, is uh, connected to the chassis of the oscilloscope and through it uh, at the shield of the input uh, of the uh, oscilloscope. So what happens if we uh, connect uh, a probe in this way? So we have the hut of the probe that is uh, touching directly the neutral and the, um, and the shield of the, of the probe, the shield uh, of the probe that uh, is connected uh, uh, through the circuit uh, directly to the live. And uh, suppose this circuit is uh, 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 maybe a dimmer and this component uh, could be, uh, say, uh, a triac. Uh, uh, here actually we have the live that flew through this um, point uh, and uh, through the shield uh, to the um, chassis of the oscilloscope and uh, to the chassis of the oscilloscope, the, of the oscilloscope uh, to the protective earth. And since the protective earth has a relatively low impedance with neutral, uh, a surge of current uh, will flow uh, through this circuit uh, and uh, uh, the RCD for sure will trip but also for sure this uh, is not pleased by uh, pleased by your circuit uh, nor for your probe and certainly not for uh, for the for your oscilloscope so uh, what about uh, if we use if we connect uh, the probe the other way around and uh, we use the pro the the hut of the probe uh, to measure the the live the shield uh, uh, to the neutral. In this case, uh, the shield uh, is connected to the neutral and through the chassis of the oscilloscope uh, to the protective earth. Uh, again, since there is a uh, there is a relative low impedance between the protective earth and neutral, likely will will be um, a little current that will flow through this circuit and uh, the RCD may or may not strip but in this case uh, the measurement will be heavily affected by the this flow of current current uh, and the measurement is not reliable if it is possible at all of course uh, so even this uh, option is not uh, a good option so what we can do uh, to solve this problem is to put here an isolating isolating transformer that uh, separates the mains from the uh, circuit under test, making it to making it floating in respect to the the input input voltages. Uh, however, um, there is another best uh, solution that is uh, to use a uh, specialized uh, probe uh, that is uh, uh, a di that is named a differential probe uh, that have um, an instrumentational amplifier built in into the probe uh, and uh, in this case the the shield uh, is used only to uh, shield us the, the uh, in instrumentation amplifier 
which is usually powered with batteries um, or uh, sometimes uh, with other uh, Nexana power supply and uh, it have uh, two hot probes uh, that uh, uh, can read uh, um, the voltage uh, and those are highly insulated uh, in respect to the, the shield and the fore to the protective earth. Also there are guys that do the trick uh, by using a cable without the protective earth but that is not advisable and quite dangerous. There are always risks uh, uh, when uh, working with the circuits that are directly connected to mains. One of them of course is you could accidentally touch the chassis or the oscilloscope and get electrocuted. And uh, when it comes uh, to take measurements uh, in C2 measurements, uh, say in uh, industrial plants, uh, industrial installations, uh, uh, in, that, in those cases uh, there are specific instruments uh, that are designed for that task and that are similar to a uh, um, multimeter like this one. Uh, those are battery powered so there is no reference uh, with the uh, uh, mains uh, through the power supply and the enclosure is fully insulated so you can touch any part that is subject to uh, voltage and those are the correct instrument for those tasks well okay uh, I hope you find interesting this video cheers from the apps thanks for watching see you next time bye